guys, Adam here. Tonight, I'm going to be playing a game that I did back in 2013. It's Unino Jack Boy 1 slash XL. Now, what am I playing is the XL version. I can't play the Volume 1 edition. Once you install the XL version, then it's XL. So, anyways, I wanted to do a Now, before I get started, I wanted to do a separate one, but... It's piled as one game, so I'll just title it You Don't Know Jack Volume 1 slash XL. Now, last year, my one ended. I won't be... I'll be un, I'll be doing unlimited gameplay for You Don't Know Jack. For every You Don't Know Jack game I don't play. I play. Excuse me. Let's get started. Hey, how was your weekend? Um, out of ten. <laughs> yeah, like out about of three and a half. That's too bad. Hey, Cookie, get the names, please, okay? Excuse yeah. Me. Hello, how is everyone today? Is everyone here? Nate, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can I get more monitor, Helen? Contestants, how you doing? Welcome to our show. Why don't you tell me how many people are going to be playing this game? So you're playing with yourself, huh? Cookie, please. Sorry, just I'm type your name in, okay? Here. One other thing. Are you looking for a seven-question tournament game or more like a full 21-question game? Cool, okay, roger that. Again, 30 seconds. Your buzzer is the letter B, as in Betty Bakes Me Bread. Nice to have been informed about this ahead of time. Okay, I will issue a memo to you, Nate. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, the ball blew on the 5K. I need another one quick, please. Thanks. 20 seconds. Whoa, heads up. All right, when a question pops up, you got to buzz in. Then you pick your answer on the screen and hit the right key on your keyboard. You follow me? Okay, everybody, let's go. I want to get rid of the desktop, please. Thank you very much. Okay, and yeah, no stand by. All right, quick. Go to black. Okay, Nate, stand by. Biggie's diapers for when life is on the skids. Now, I'm playing the CD version of XL, not the Steam version. I'm playing the CD version. Nice to have you here. You're playing solo for this show? All right, let's do it. How about it? Hit me with the category. Get ready for some fun. It's question number one. Oh, yeah. This one's going to be cinematic roadkill. Okay, shouldn't be too tough. This question's going to be worth a grand. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. If you were to make a stew from the carcasses of famous movie animals that have died on the big screen, which of the following would not be part of the recipe? Old Yeller from Old Yeller, Charlotte from Charlotte's Web, The Yearling from The Yearling, or Willie from Free Willy 2? I'm gonna go with Ah, no, The Yearling dies in that movie. Um, but hey, it'll oh, add that venison taste to your stew that kids love. Hmm, I guess your childhood was traumatized outside of the theater. Willie from yep, Free Willy 2. It's probably yeah. just as well. That'd be a pretty big ingredient. <laughs> Alright, come on, hit me. We need a category. Look to do. It's question number two. The category. Mr. Scott meets Pop's Racer. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Imagine the chief engineer of the Star Trek's Enterprise and Speed Racer's dad team up to design a new Mach 5 race car. If it's capable of a top speed of warp factor 1, how fast can Speed Racer's new car go? Ten times the speed of light, the speed of sound, the speed of light, or three times the speed of sound? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. Too bad you didn't pick this. The speed of light. I hope that car comes equipped with driver's side barf bags. Okay, pick a category. Yodelay, 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 question three. 
The category is a hypochondriac's nightmare. Okay, this one might be a toughie. It's worth 3,000 bucks. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Okay, now imagine while visiting your family doctor to take care of problems with diarrhea and gonorrhea, you're told that you also have pyorrhea and seborrhea. What two specialists should you seek out? Dentist and dermatologist, ophthalmologist and urologist, psychiatrist and otolaryngologist, or proctologist and gynecologist? In case you're curious about the correct answer, dentist and dermatologist. Pyorrhea is an infection of the gums and seborrhea causes abnormally oily skin. How about it? Hit me with the category. You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question Next up. Places named for pierceable body parts. And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. The natives of Easter Island called their home Rapa Nui, translated from Polynesian into English. Rapa Nui means what? Navel of the world, ear of the goddess, nipple of the ocean, or not gonna do it. Should have picked this. The navel of the world. Let's hope it isn't full of the lint of the ages. Alright, come on, hit me, we need a category. Question five. The category behind this question is all the way from A to Z. And this one's gonna be worth three thousand dollars. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Approximately how many years has it been since one could walk across a single landmass from the current location of Arkansas to present day Zimbabwe? 500,000, 200 million, 70 billion, or 1 trillion? I'm gonna take you down. It's all yours. No, but that's probably the total number of Americans that can't find Zimbabwe on a map times a thousand. And here's the right answer. It's been 200 million years since the Earth was one big happy continent. Unfortunately, the continent split just days after the Arkansas-Zimbabwe Railroad was completed. Not doing too good. How about it? Hit me with the category. Okay. Uh... Uh-oh. Uh, West uh, truck looks no more. It's time for a... Flicker Kiss No Scope. <laughs> This gibberish questions category is reptile shaped candy and products for women. Opening value on this gibberish question, 5,000 bucks. Okay, now remember, the faster you solve this puzzle, the more money you win. All right, now don't let the punctuation mess you up. What product name does this rhyme with? Why rant? We Steve gets the turtle. Tint, it's for a product that women use. It's a product that helps women look more shapely. But if you'll notice, none of those words rhymes with brassiere. It's a product you can believe in. You really need to shape up. Oh, Sue, it's so comfortable and light. And look, no unsightly lines. Why rant we Steve gets the turtle? And I can't believe you're a contestant. Okay, pick a category. Here's the category. Taxi cabs and Satan. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, imagine an outrageous episode of Taxi where all the taxi cabs have become possessed by demon spirits. But in the last minute of the episode, Jesus arrives to perform a bizarre exorcism of the cabs allowing everyone to go back to work. This is an example of which dramatic device? Deus Ex Machina, Dramatic Irony, Verisimilitude, or Allegory? Here's what you should have guessed. Oh, Deus Ex Machina. Literally translated, it means God from the machine. I guess nobody was here to bail you out at the last minute. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Wow! Lightweight, elevate, hibernate, vegetate. The name of this.
this category is candy bars can be so cruel. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. It's recess. Baby Ruth and Mr. Goodbar corner you by the slide and derisively call you a nutless wonder. You must be cash money. That was easy. No nuts. Still, you can run nougats around those two. How about it? Hit me with the category. Number nine. Oh, wait, that's one. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Animated nerds from outer space. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. Now, who is that guy? He's an alien. He oh. fights with the rabbit who says, What's Marvin. up, Doc? All the time. Marvin the Martian. Yep. Obviously, Earth doesn't have a monopoly on nerdy names. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. This one's going to be, Bessie goes to a ball game. This question's going to be worth $2,001 bills. Hang on tight, because here we go. A herd of cattle would be happy grazing at each of these sports arenas, except which one? Candlestick Park, Soldier Field, the Rose Bowl, or the Astrodome? Now the correct answer is... <laughs> The Astrodome would not be too appetizing. The uh, grass in the dome is actually artificial turf. We've got ten questions down and for ten more we're going on to round two. Now pay attention because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Let's do it. Okay, pick a category. The category is, where's a male porn star when you need one? It's going to be worth $4,000. All right, imagine you're lost in the Sahara Desert. Luckily, you have your famous male porn star compass to guide you. Which of these men is not a famous porn star and therefore could not be a point on your compass? Randy West, Jack South, Nick East, or Peter North? Jack South. Yes! Look, you can jack any direction you want, just don't do it into the wind. I'm gonna go off How about it? Hit me with the category. Uh-oh! Test Nut Slick Crime Store! Once again, it's time for a... Ticklish Pasco! Gibberish The category for this gibberish question? Wake up and smell the car alarm. The opening value for this gibberish question is gonna be 10,000 bucks. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you gotta think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. Okay, we're not talking about any car alarm. We're talking about an alarm on a Peugeot or a Citroën. I want you to tell me, what does this rhyme with? Okay, I can work this out. Okay, here's your first hint. There's either a male relative or a monk involved. In France, they call him Frère Jacques. Jacques Cousteau? I gotta make sure. You know, it makes me tired just thinking about the answer. I'm gonna wait until it gets slow. Let's try it. Let's see what you got, sir, Ted. Is it him? I'm not sure. Uh, three hints and you still miss it? What else do you want from me? Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, dommage. Singers, sing them the answer. Carful bleeping, carful bleeping, unison, unison. Are you oh. sleeping? After oh, blowing that Lord. one, are you oh, sleeping? Good it. question. Like All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Question 13. Next up. Oh. U.S. Presidents on Let's Make a Deal. Work. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. If you were on Let's Make a Deal and you turned down four bills with Grant's picture on them for just one with Lincoln's, what kind of deal did you make and why? A bad deal because you lost money, bad deal because there's no bill with Grant on it, good deal because you made money or didn't matter because amounts are the same. Yes, there is. You've obviously what? never had one. What? Well, 
I'll tell you Wait this, a it is a bad Hold deal. On a Grant's on the 50, Lincoln's on the 5. You would have lost money. Unless, of course, the Grant pictured was Lou Grant, then you could have thrown Monty in jail for counterfeiting. Okay, that was, that was a lot. How about it? Hit me with a category. The category, Cooking with Commandos. And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. Hey, remember the hit movie starring Lee Marvin about a group of military misfits taken out of prison to go behind enemy lines to strike a blow against the Nazis? Well, if you wanted to produce a sequel starring French chef Julia Child as the cook for the ragtag team of 12 World War II Commandos, what might you appropriately title the film? The Dirty Baker's Dozen, Delta Force Course Meal, The Guns of Macaroon, or Apocalypse Chow? Dirty Dozen plus one chef makes 13. In other words, The Dirty Baker's oh. Dozen. A movie full of grenades, bayonets, okay. and spatulas. War is hell. Never mind. Okay, pick a category. Here's the category. The Spake Jack. And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Who might have placed the following personal ad? Single white male in search of single white female. Philosophical German Uberman in search of Uberwoman. Must be able to use the word spake in a sentence and know that God is buried. Who could have written this? Albert Camus, John Locke, Frederick Nietzsche, or Thomas Aquinas? And let's see the correct answer. Friedrich Nietzsche, the German philosopher who reasoned that there's a type of ideal human being called the Ubermann and that God is dead. Are you All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Okay. I'm not sure God Flush your head down the latrine. Easy away with sour cream. 16. The name of this category is Oh, what a night. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. According to the singer in the 1970s dance hit, what was a very special time? Go for it. It was late December back in 63. That was easy. What a lady, what a night. What a headache the next day. How about it? Hit me with the category. The category behind this question is dairy treats and uh -oh. digestive tracts. And this one is not going to be easy, $6,000. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. If Dairy Queen added animal parts to its list of desserts, which of the following could not be in a gizzard blizzard because the animal in question does not possess a gizzard? An ostrich, a horned toad, a crocodile, or an earthworm? All right. You know what you could have picked? You could have Don't picked this. Horn toads oh, have no God. gizzards. They make a hell of a Sunday. <laughs> All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Let's see what we're doing here. Life in the fast lane. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. On account of the traditional drink the winner of the Indy 500 receives in the winner's circle, it would be unfortunate if he or she were what? Allergic to citrus, an alcoholic, lactose intolerant, or on a caffeine-free diet? In case you're curious about the correct answer, oh, lactose God. intolerant, the winner traditionally takes a big gulp of milk. And nothing caps off a good race like a big warm mug of breast milk. Mama's pride breast milk. Okay, pick a category. Next up, may the force be with you.
I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, now imagine that a movie theater advertises that they're showing one of the best movies in the Star Wars series. But when you get there, they tell you they couldn't get Empire Strikes Back, but they do have the less popular Ewoks The Battle for Endor. Of what business practice is this an example? Bait and switch, glass ceiling, monopoly, or stonewalling? Too bad you didn't pick this. Bait and switch. I think that's also the process Princess Leia used to get her hair like that. It was good. How about it? Hit me with the category. The category is... Work it, Superman. Uh -oh. 6,000 bucks is riding on this one. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Imagine Clark Kent quit writing for the Daily Planet to write for the Daily Worker instead because he agreed more with their ideals. What might Superman logically do next? Use x-ray vision to see women's underwear, not, drop a large boulder on the local try. farm, warm the beaches with his heat vision, or turn in his cape for a hammer and sickle. Actually, the correct answer is he'd trade in his cape for a hammer and sickle. You see, the Daily Worker was a communist newspaper. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Nurse at home with mother's milk. 